I'll be teaching you how you can compress images and photos on your WordPress website to make sure your blog load faster. Hey guys, welcome to another video episode of Shout Me Loud where I teach you about WordPress SEO blogging that actually helps you to make money and live a boss free life. Well, today's video is for all the WordPress bloggers who are blogging, who have a WordPress website or who are also offering WordPress services to their clients. Now, one thing which we know is that it's very important for us to make sure that our blog or website loads really fast. Now, in the past, I've done one or two videos where you can actually learn the techniques that will help you to reduce your WordPress blog load time. Now, today's video is for people who are using images on their website. I'll be teaching you how you can compress images and photos on your WordPress website to make sure your blog load faster. And here is actually a result from Pingdom. And you can see that for Shout Me Loud, we are using only 232 KB worth of images on the homepage. And our actually blog loads in less than one second. So basically, I know what I'm talking about. And if you are somebody who's actually first time coming to Shout Me Loud, you should know that we are online from last 10 years and we have been helping numerous individuals just like you to grow in your career. Now, getting back to the topic. So here is one website which is from a photographer and you can see that the size of the total images used on the website is about 8 MB and images constitute about 95% of the website. Now, that's actually a lot of content size here. And you can see here, the load time is not much thanks to the good hosting the person is using and other optimization technique like Cloudflare. But still, the page size is 7.7 .7 MB. And especially if somebody is browsing the website on a 3G or 2G connection in that case, they will find it really hard to see the website loading. So the best way any photographer or even a blogger can do is they can compress their images. And for that, we can actually use a plugin. And the plugin that I'm talking about is called Short Pixel. This is what I use on Shout Me Loud. And in a moment, I would show you how to use this plugin. Let me tell you what I like about this plugin. Number one, if you're a hobby blogger and you don't blog much, you can actually take advantage of their free plan, which allow you to compress 100 images in a month, which is actually a decent number for anybody who's doing hobby blogging. Second, using this plugin, you can actually compress all your past images automatically. Or if you want to compress images manually, you can also do that. I would show you that as well in a quick second. This plugin has been online for quite a long time. Other few factor is when it compress an image, it also creates a backup of the image in a separate folder. So if in future you want to like reuse the original image, you can do that. If you are a photographer where you don't want to compress the images by losing quality, you can actually take advantage of their feature where it compresses images without making it lose quality. So depending on the way you are using WordPress, you can pick from three different options. And let me show you the three different options. So one is lossy, one is glossy, and another one is lossless. Now this one is highly recommended for all the people who are using technical drawing or images from vector graphics. Glossy graphics are useful for the website like for the photographers. If you have a photography website or you have a travel blog where you're uploading pictures from your recent trip, well, glossy option is much better for you. And for anybody who just want to compress images and images does not have to be complete identical, you can use lossy images. It compresses the maximum. You can actually click on this link and you know, you can upload your image and see what it means to be using lossy, glossy or lossless images. Usually I would recommend for a typical blog, lossy is okay. For anybody who is into photography, glossy is great. For anybody who is into technical drawing or using vector graphics, they should use lossless. Okay, so these are the few settings that you can use. Now, once you download and install the plugin, you actually need to go and register on shortpixel.com. And from the admin area, you will find your API key. Now you need to enter that API key over here and validate your key. That will activate your plugin and you can actually start using the plugin for free for the first 100 images. And if you want to compress more images, you can buy one of their license, which is actually not much. So depending on your requirement, you can buy these licenses. Now, let's say if you buy short plan, which gives you 5,000 images per month. And if you don't use those all images, you can actually cancel your subscription and you can carry forward this limit for the next month for the future. So that is another great feature of short pixel plugin. Now here, there are a few options that you can use, like, you know, you can enable the image backup feature. It will create a backup of the original image in one of the folder in your WordPress directory. So that really helps, especially if you're working on a client website. And if your client says in future that, hey, I want my 
backup. The EXIF tag is the information about the photo that where the photo is taken, which camera is used and all those metadata, which in most of the scenario you would not be using it. So you can actually remove the EXIF tag of the image, which is also recommended. If you like to resize images while uploading, you can use this feature. I usually don't do that because I resize the image before uploading. Now there are some advanced feature. Usually I just use the optimized PDF feature and it's a good idea that you should go through all the feature and see which one fits perfectly for your project. Now here is some statistic which is pretty mind blowing that on an average like you know almost half of the size of my images have been reduced which is actually a lot of saving. Now th that means the disk saving is about 500 MB. The bandwidth now this is a very interesting factor is like I've saved about 4.38 terabyte of bandwidth just by compressing these images and this is very useful especially if you are using managed WordPress hosting or a hosting where you have limited bandwidth. And you can see I still have 41,994 credit which is left. I've consumed only 8006 and you can see that my original images are stored in a backup folder which is of 1.31 GB right now. So I, I would actually like to empty this because it's been a while I really don't need those original images anymore. So let's quickly do that. Now while it's happening, so there are multiple ways you can use this plugin. Let me quickly show you. So number one is you can go to media library and if you want, you can actually compress any images that you have uploaded. You can actually bulk smush if you like, or you can just simply click on optimize now. Let's do that. And image will be compressed. Now in my case, I usually compress my images before uploading. I use this free tool on Mac called image Optim. But if you're not on Mac or if you're not using any external tool, well, you can actually use this feature. So in this case, you might not see a lot of compression because it's already compressed. But let's see what this plugin can do. Oh, wow. It's actually reduced by 63%, which is actually a lot. Okay, let's do this. Let's just pick this to three and let's make them glossy optimization and see what it does. Okay, so it's taking its own time. I'm actually going to leave a link for the image optim as well. It's a free tool that you can download if you're on Mac and you can just simply add an image and it compresses. It's really fast and something that will help your workflow a lot. Okay, so now in the journal, there is an option called save and go to bulk process. This is where you can actually go ahead and start compressing all your past images if you would like. So here you can see, it shows you the number of images that it will compress. Some have errors, okay. And I can include thumbnails if I like, but I would not use that because I have less credit and it's okay not to compress thumbnail in some of the scenario. And that's it. If you want to restore your compressed images, this is the option that you can use. And then you can click on restart optimizing to start compressing images. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. Okay, nothing happened. Let's click on optimize now. All right, let's actually start bulk optimization so that you would understand how images and photos are compressed. And you can see the process has started. Now it will start compressing one image at a time. And the best part, like even if you are on a shared hosting or in a hosting which is not overpowered, this plugin does not put a lot of load on your server. So you can see like started optimizing. Now this image has been optimized by 63%. It will pick another image and this process will keep going on. However, just you need to know that if you actually close this tab, the bulk processing will pause. So you can actually open everything in a new tab and keep this open while the compression happens at the back end. Well, this is what it is. Now I'm going to stop this bulk processing because for me, the images quality is really, really important. The kind of blog we have. But I hope this video helped you to understand how to compress images and photos on your WordPress website. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will leave all the links in the description so that you can quickly go and read about short pixel plugin. You can claim their 100 free images per month and few other links which will help you to improve the loading time of your WordPress website. Now, if you enjoyed this video, it added value, do like and do subscribe to our channel. It definitely helps. I'm your host, Harsh Agrawal. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.